in your experience in interviewing these teachers and administrators dealing with all this right now and just seeing what's happening on the ground, are you feeling pretty, like what's your vibe on what's happening? Are you feeling pessimistic about how to get out of this mess or do you see a path past this in a couple election cycles? I do think, you know, and this is something Jean referenced, um, that many of these actions are illegal. Um, there are very strong protections um, for not just for public libraries, but for school libraries. And a lot of those restrictions that are being put in place do not, to me, um, and you know, I'm I'm a lawyer, but I'm I don't I don't really practice or anything, but I've I've you know I've I've studied up on this as uh, as I've looked into this, you know maybe maybe ripe for a legal challenge that could happen before a couple of election cycles. Uh, I know that the ACLU is is monitoring it. I know that there are other people who are interested, and so I think that's something that might happen. I don't know, but I think it's something that might happen in Florida. Um, it, talking about local elections, really going down to the hyper local school board level where these decisions are being made. Um, that's the kind of race where, you know, you can literally go out and probably shake every person's hand you're going to need to win uh, in that kind of race. I think it's something that uh, is, is doable, uh, doable politically, um, especially when this stops being sort of a theoretical discussion about parents' rights, which I think people sort of, th that's been a nice kind of political rebranding of, of some, uh, of a form of politics that's been around for, for quite some time. Um, and you start to see how this is actually implemented where there really is this kind of demonization of teachers. And I think people generally react pretty negatively to that. Yeah, so those are just a, those are just a few thoughts, but I think the two main avenues I see are like the school boards and yeah. and the courts.